the Air Force just ordered 144 copies of a fighter jet that first flew in 1972. While China builds hundreds of fifth-generation stealth fighters and Russia claims sixth-generation superiority, America is buying more Eagles. The decision sounds insane until you understand what Boeing actually built. The F-15EX isn't your grandfather's Eagle. It's a fourth-generation airframe hiding fifth-generation systems that solves problems the F-35 and F-22 can't touch. The engineering reality behind this aircraft reveals why the Air Force chose proven capability over revolutionary technology. Every modern fighter faces the same physics problem. Stealth requires internal weapons bays. Internal bays limit payload. The F-35 carries four missiles internally. The F-22 carries six. When you need to defend against massive Chinese bomber formations or Russian cruise missile salvos, six missiles don't cut it. The F-15EX delivers volume no stealth fighter can match. 22 AIM-120 AMRAMs. That's the maximum loadout on an F-15EX configured for pure air-to-air -air combat. No other fighter on Earth carries more than eight air-to-air -air missiles. The Eagle can engage 11 targets simultaneously while the F-35 is Winchester after four shots. In a Taiwan Strait scenario where China launches hundreds of aircraft, that payload capacity becomes the difference between air superiority and defeat. The weapons capacity extends beyond missiles. The F-15EX can carry 29,500 pounds of ordnance on external hardpoints, 12 2,000-pound JDAMs in a single sortie. Hypersonic weapons too large for internal bays mount externally without structural modifications. The Air Force calls it a weapons truck, but that undersells what Boeing engineered. Strip away the external weapons and the real revolution appears. The F-15EX runs on a completely digital backbone that replaces every analog system from the original Eagle. Flight controls are fly-by-wire. The cockpit uses large area displays. The mission computer processes data at speeds 1970s engineers couldn't imagine. This isn't a modernization. It's a complete systems replacement inside a proven airframe. The APG-82 AESA radar represents the most advanced fighter radar America produces for non-stealth aircraft. It tracks over 200 targets simultaneously while maintaining continuous scanning. The radar burns through jamming that blinds older systems and integrates with the electronic warfare suite to create complete battlefield awareness. Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System EPAWSS the name doesn't capture what this electronic warfare suite does. It detects missile launches, analyzes radar threats, automatically deploys countermeasures, and jams enemy systems without pilot input. The system responds with countermeasures before the pilot knows he's been targeted. Fourth generation airframe, fifth generation defensive systems. An F-15 EX costs $87 million flyaway add development costs, and the program price reaches $180 million per aircraft. That sounds expensive until you compare alternatives. An F-35A costs $80 million flyaway but carries four missiles. An F-22 costs $150 million when you include program costs, but production ended in 2009. The Air Force needs fighters now. Boeing delivers F-15EX aircraft 18 months after contract signing. The operational costs tell the real story. The F-15EX costs roughly $27,000 per flight hour. The F-35 costs around $36,000 per hour. The F-22 exceeds $85,000 per hour when you include stealth coating maintenance. Over a 20,000-hour service life, that $9,000 per hour difference adds up to $180 million in operating costs you save the purchase price of another aircraft just by flying the Eagle. The real cost advantage appears in maintenance. The F-15 has been in service for 50 years. Every maintainer knows the systems. Parts availability is excellent. Training pipelines exist. Support infrastructure is in place at every major base. 
Compare that to the F-35, which still faces parts shortages 15 years after initial operating capability. Boeing guarantees each F-15EX for 20,000 flight hours. That's roughly 40 years of normal operations. The newest F-15EX won't retire until the 2060s. The EX isn't just a life-extended eagle. It's built from the ground up with modern manufacturing processes that eliminate fatigue points plaguing older airframes. Availability rate matters more than raw capability. An F-22 might be the world's best fighter when it flies. But F-22s are mission-capable only 50 to 60% of the time. Those specialized stealth coatings require constant maintenance. The fleet averages one sortie per aircraft every three days during peacetime. The F-15EX targets 75% mission-capable rates during peacetime operations. The lack of stealth coatings eliminates hours of maintenance between flights. Simple sheet metal repairs can be done at forward bases without specialized equipment. Battle damage that would ground an F-35 for weeks can be patched on an Eagle in days. In extended conflicts, availability beats peak performance. American air defense faces a threat most people never consider. Russian bombers probe Alaskan airspace regularly. Chinese aircraft test responses near Guam and Hawaii. The Air Force maintains alert fighters ready to scramble within minutes. Those alert birds need range to intercept threats hundreds of miles from bases, persistence to escort intruders for hours, and weapons capacity to engage multiple targets. The F-15EX excels at homeland defense in ways stealth fighters can't match. The combat radius exceeds 1,200 nautical miles with conformal fuel tanks. That's enough to intercept bombers approaching from any direction and still have fuel to engage. The 22 missile loadout means one Eagle can handle threats that would require multiple F-35s. And the 20,000-hour airframe means these aircraft will pull alert duty for four decades. Alaska bases F-15s specifically for this mission. The aircraft operate in extreme cold that challenges maintenance crews and test systems. The Eagle has proven it can start reliably at minus 40 degrees, fly intercept missions lasting four hours, and return ready for the next alert. Stealth fighters require climate-controlled hangars and extensive pre-flight preparation. The Eagle parks on the ramp and launches within minutes. Chinese military planners know exactly what the F-15EX represents. It's a missile truck that can engage their bombers and tankers from beyond visual range. The long-range missiles give the Eagle first-shot capability against non-stealth targets, and there are only so many stealth fighters China can build. The vast majority of their Air Force flies fourth-generation designs. Against those aircraft, the F-15EX holds overwhelming advantages. The APG-82 radar detects non-stealth aircraft at ranges exceeding 150 miles. The AIM-120D missile engages targets beyond 100 miles. Chinese J-10 and J-11 fighters face detection and engagement before their radars even see the Eagle. In mass formations, that standoff range allows one F-15EX to eliminate multiple targets before they reach weapons range. Russian planners face the same calculation. Their bomber fleet consists primarily of non-stealth Tu-95 and Tu-160 designs. Those aircraft are subsonic and radar reflective. An F-15EX armed with long-range missiles can engage an entire Russian bomber formation before those bombers reach launch range for their cruise missiles. The defensive mission becomes a fence through superior sensors and weapons range. Boeing designed the F-15EX with open architecture systems that enable continuous upgrades without structural modifications. The mission computer uses commercial standards that allow new processors to drop in as technology advances. The displays can show new information types without rewiring cockpits. The weapons pylons accommodate future missiles not yet designed. This aircraft evolves. The Air Force plans to integrate hypersonic weapons on the F-15EX starting in 2028. Those weapons are too large for F-35 or F-22 internal bays. 
the Eagle carries them externally without performance penalties. The same pylons will eventually carry directed energy weapons, advanced electronic attack pods, or whatever the next generation of air-to-air -air systems becomes. The radar and electronic warfare systems follow five-year upgrade cycles. The APG-82 will receive new modes through software updates. The EPOWSS system already has three planned upgrades scheduled through 2030. Those upgrades cost millions instead of billions because they leverage the digital backbone. You're not rewiring the jet, you're uploading new software. The F-15 EX purchase represents strategic insurance against F-35 problems. The Lightning program has faced delays, cost overruns, and capability shortfalls for two decades. The Air Force cannot base its entire fighter fleet on one aircraft type with ongoing issues. The Eagle provides a hedge. If F-35 problems worsen, the EX fills the gap. That hedge extends to production capacity. Lockheed Martin's Fort Worth facility builds F-35s for multiple nations. Production slots are allocated years in advance. But Boeing's St. Louis line can increase F-15EX production with minimal lead time. The tooling exists. The workforce knows the aircraft. Supply chains are mature. The hedge also covers attrition. Aircraft get destroyed in combat and accidents. The F-22 cannot be replaced. Every Raptor lost is one less forever. The F-35 has limited production capacity, but the F-15EX can be manufactured for decades if needed. Combat losses can be replaced without gutting training pipelines. In extended conflicts, industrial capacity determines outcomes. The Air Force publicly describes the F-15EX as a strike fighter and missile truck. That's true, but incomplete. This aircraft also serves as a testbed for sixth-generation technologies without risking classified NGAD programs. The digital backbone, advanced sensors, and open architecture systems being proven on the Eagle will inform next-generation fighter design. The weapons capacity has another purpose beyond volume of fire. The F-15EX can serve as a missile carrier for stealth fighters operating in contested airspace. The Eagle hangs back outside threat range carrying 22 missiles. The F-35s penetrate forward using stealth. When the F-35s identify targets beyond their organic weapons load, they data link targeting information to the F-15EX. The Eagle launches missiles toward coordinates provided by the stealth fighters. The enemy never sees the source. This cooperative engagement concept fundamentally changes how air warfare works. Stealth fighters become sensors. The F-15EX becomes the magazine. Four F-35s forward and two F-15EX carrying 44 missiles create a formation that can engage 48 targets before any stealth fighter needs to retreat. That changes the mathematics of air combat. The F-15EX isn't a stopgap or compromise. It's a deliberate solution to specific problems stealth fighters cannot address. The payload capacity enables missile truck missions. The digital systems provide fifth-generation awareness. The proven airframe delivers reliability stealth coatings cannot match, and the cost structure makes it sustainable for four decades. China building hundreds of fifth-generation fighters doesn't make the F-15EX obsolete. It makes weapons capacity and availability more important. The F-15EX represents American air power choosing proven capability over marketing hype. The Air Force will operate this aircraft into the 2060s alongside whatever sixth-generation fighter emerges from NGAD. If you want more deep dives into military aviation capabilities and why the Air Force buys what it buys, subscribe to Flight Deck. Drop a comment about whether you think the F-15EX purchase makes sense or if the Air Force should have bought more F-35s instead.